Hey guys, Coach Reed Hall here. Once again, I'm with beach volleyball stars Sophie and Alex. Now this is video two in our two-part series where I give you an inside look at their complete training session. So in video one, we went through their warm-up and dynamic component. If you missed that part, there'll be a link somewhere. Find that link, make sure to watch that video. In this part, we move into a lower body strength workout. So lower body strength and upper body injury prevention. Now these are two completely different athletes, okay? And the way that I'm gonna be training them will be completely different. The reason for this is Alex is just entering her off-season training, so we're more on the bulletproofing of her body stage of training, which just means we're doing more isometric exercise, eccentric exercise, working on a lot of corrective exercise. We're essentially assembling the foundation so we can make massive improvements on. Sophie, on the other hand, we've already been training for 10 to 12 weeks. She's already added over three and a half inches on her counter movement jump. She's gotten way stronger, and her workouts are a lot more speed power focused. Anyways, guys, hop in watch closely and let's get after it. Okay, so for the first block of exercise, this is generally the most important exercise in your program. Those are what fit into the beginning of your strength routine. So Sophie's working on power clean. So before she does her power clean, she does some specific drills to make sure the patterning's really good. The last phase we work on hang cleans and now we've progressed to a power clean, which is a more complex version of the hang clean. And so we've progressed to that point. Now where she's moving the bar really fast and powerfully, but technique always comes first. So this is called a bottoms up kettlebell walk. And now we're gonna mix her lower body, more intensive exercises with some dynamic shoulder exercise. So the dynamic stability is really important for her and her shoulder because she's someone with very mobile shoulders, but they need to be very strong and healthy so that she can last throughout the volleyball season. So a lot of the times we'll alternate between lower body exercise and then an upper body injury preventative exercise while we're resting. So Alex's first exercise in her first block is a lunge iso hold. So she's gonna essentially set up into a lunge and she's gonna add some load. She's gonna feel the muscles in her quads, her glutes really starting to activate. She needs to keep her core tight as well. So you can see Sophie's doing something that was very explosive power cleans, but she's doing something a lot more static. And this is why I talk about adding the building blocks or developing the foundation before we move in those speed power. So she's gonna hold this for at least 20 seconds each side and these are gonna get pretty tough. Alex, how are those? <laughs> okay, and then squeeze and lift. And once again, so just like Sophie, she's gonna pair this with an upper body injury preventative exercise. And there's also gonna be a core exercise that she'll have as well. The exercise Alex has paired with this is a forearm wall slide. So this isn't a great corrective exercise for. Uh, what we're training here is teaching her shoulder blade to properly upwardly rotate when she gets her arms overhead. So the shoulder blades need to upwardly rotate and then when she pulls off, it needs to posteriorly tilt. This allows us to get in a better position when we attack a ball. But right now, for Alex, something we identify is the shoulder blade doesn't move very well. So when she's pushing into the wall on the way up, she's actually activating her serratus anterior and then when she reaches all the way up, she then pulls off and her shoulder blades are posteriorly tilt. The third exercise in Alex's first block of exercise, another corrective base exercise, it's called a bird dog. So we're focusing on strengthening glute and core and great hip control. So you can see how she's rotating one way. This is actually a corrective exercise for because she's been having some back pain before she came here and started training. One of the things that we identify is her core's weak and her glutes aren't stabilizing her hips well enough. So this is a great corrective exercise for her to do. So she gets long squeeze and tries to keep these hips as neutral as she possibly can. In Sophie's second block of exercise, she has trap bar deadlifts and another shoulder health strengthening exercise. So for trap bar deadlifts, she's only using a moderate weight. So this is not super heavy for her, and she's focusing on trying to move the weight fast on the way up. So she comes down, squeeze, and drive through. The exercise we have paired with trap bar deadlifts is cable scapular retraction. So we're really focusing on good movement of the shoulder blades. The shoulder blades are gonna come down and towards each other, and they're gonna allow the shoulder blades to get as far away from each other as possible. So between this exercise and the trap bar deadlifts, we're giving her a ton of rest time. We wanna make sure that she's feeling good before each set that she does and not just exhausted. 
The first exercise in Alex's second block is a one-leg hip thrust. So we're really focusing on building tension through the glute and also the hamstring. It's really important when she does this that she's not getting extended or lower back. She needs to keep this all connected. The second exercise in Alex's second block of training is a side plank row. Now this is a great exercise for strengthening muscles in the lateral hip, her obliques, her core. So she'll do about 15 slow reps each side and trying to stay tight and keep good form. So for the third block, we're gonna go through a three exercise sled complex, which Sophie's gonna hate me. Uh, these absolutely suck. So she's gonna be doing lateral sled drags for 20 yards, do the other side for 20 yards, rest 30 seconds. She's gonna be doing backward sled drags for 20 yards, rest 30 seconds, and then she's gonna be doing a sled push. This will suck. Let's go. exercise in her third block of training. The first one's a step up. We're gonna allow that knee to track forward with keeping the heel down, squeeze her glute and drive through. And it's gonna be really slow on the way down. It's gonna be tough control, slow. This whole time we're trying to keep this knee and a toe in a straight line and that foot stable on the ground. So she'll do six to eight repetitions of these each side with great stability and control. The last exercise in Alex's third block is just her lateral sliders. We did a very similar exercise in her warm up. The only difference now is we've added a little bit of light load at her chest. Thank you guys for tuning in to part two of two of our inside look of Sophie's and Alex's training session. Ladies, how are you feeling? Awesome. Tired and sweaty. <laughs> it's important for you to know that we track everything they do inside the app. So all their workout programs are inside the app with video demos. We track all the results in there. Now this is super important for both our online clients and the athletes that train in-house. It allows us to keep consistency with their training, especially these two, when they're on the road, they don't have a strength coach to have access to. So us putting those programming inside the app allows us to keep consistency anyways guys if you like this video please like share and subscribe and if you want to train with me check out our volleyball programs